can call you negative Andy anymore. I'd be, I'd be a bit too much of an arsehole if you could, like, to be fair. <laughs> I mean, uh, unbelievable, wasn't it? Um, I was just thinking, watching that game, I was just said there, um, that 1-0 that we burgled against them a few years ago, and it was an absolute robbery, wasn't it? Daylight robbery. And you think when you contrast the two 1-0s, and it's just chalk and cheese. We had to obviously dig in for the last 15, 20 minutes. You know, the Chelsea no mugs, quality side. Been champions of Europe fairly recently. Um, yeah. Always contenders for Champions League, so you're going to have to dig deep against these sort of sides, and they're absolutely fantastic, solid and Trippier. I mean, it's it's unfair to mention one player, but I thought Trippier, what what a leader that bloke is, like unbelievable. I think you know, he, you know, as a marquee signing, he's really turned things around, you know, on the pitch and off the pitch as well, really. And obviously after the other game at home, another three points and another clean sheet. I mean, how long has it been, you know, under the old regime and everything? We never said that often, did we? I mean, it, like, he's. He's a proxy captain, isn't he? Everyone knows he's captain. But I think Eddie Howe's played a perfect uh, game plan by, you know, not stri like not humiliating Lascelles. Uh, you know, a captain on the pitch. You know, if Lascelles isn't playing, you know, he's just a leader, and he, everyone knows he is. And what the gesture he did the other day just shows what the a top quality bloke he is, and the the morale on that squad. Because you need sort of uh, morale and you need uh, commitment. And that last 20 minutes, if there's any doubt about that, head and shoulders, and the. The laps are on the pitch. People staying back after matches now, um, 15, 20 minutes, lapping every single second up. It's just phenomenal, isn't it? And the photos as well. We can't forget the big team photo. It's brilliant, eh? I mean, the, two, two. Um, you know, Ryan Fraser needs to get in it amongst uh, Burn again. I'm missing that. You know, they're a bit too far apart on that at the minute. I'm, yeah, I mean, you know. I was just thinking then, I don't think Botman has tasted defeat as a Newcastle United player. I don't, don't, I don't jinx it. I'm not superstitious, but I am, you know. I, <laughs> I, um, I just want to just not get carried away with them stats. Just like, just keep winning, keep winning, keep the clean sheets going. Um, I mean, to be honest, like I, I try and do have a say at similar routine before matches. You know, just trying to put the same suck on the right way. Just, I don't, I don't want anything to disrupt the apple cart. It's not going to be me that does it. You know. So, so what we blame this victory on you being hungover this morning, like? <laughs> Sorry. What we blame blame this on you being hungover this morning, like? Oh, well, this we victory. Won. We won, so it's fine. So it's fine. So yeah. is that going to be a new ritual from now on in? Well, I think, you know, I'll not quit the day job on that one. Like, <laughs> they are brilliant, but I thought the performance was just uh, was just top class. I mean, before some of the play, the first half, there wasn't a, a meaningful shot um, on at the goal. You know, the keeper didn't have to make me sales, but the openings were there. There was always a threat. We've got, the, you know, the pattern of play is great. We've got an identity, and then when we had to dig in, we can do it. So, what a serious team. Make a couple of signings in January. I want one more key sign. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? And then, but know, where would you like that? New well, player to be? Would I mean, it be attack, midfield, defence? Um, well, I'd probably attack midfield. I wouldn't, or a and a striker. You know, that's um, just his cover, really. I mean, Obviously, Mad Madison's been mooted a, a bit. Yeah. What, what are your thoughts on Madison? If Madison wants to come, and there'd be no reason why not. Great. If he wants to go down to London, or he's not going to buy into it. No, get someone, get the right players like he's been doing. I can't argue. I mean, Eddie was all about getting the right player, and do you think he fits that mindset? You know, he's quite humble. Obviously, you're seeing him with the. Coming in the World Cup, he's not been posting much on Instagram. He's not been on the piss like Jack Grealish, yeah, yeah. falling on the floor. Do you think that's the sort of character that Eddie Howes looks for? Hundred percent. He's a quality player as well. And I mean, if you had, if you had a Madison in, you get cover for Wilson. Um, you're there. I mean, the defence obviously is pretty good at the moment. So uh, you know, it's, if, we do, if we're lucky with injuries, then keep going on that front. Um, and then your unsung heroes as well. You got your Willocks, um, your Longstaffs have put the, just put a massive shifts in. Miggy obviously puts a shift in. Uh, didn't wasn't as effective going forward today, but it's it's important as well. It's just the, the high press, and you've got to buy into it. They work so hard, they cover so much of the pitch, and they're, they're sort of dedicating their lives at the minute to NUFC. And um, you know, kudos, absolutely fantastic. And with the World Cup coming up, Andy, let's talk about that. What are your thoughts about England going in? How do you think where and how do you think it'll do? I'm not bothered. Not bothered. Don't care. Not bothered in the slightest. I'd rather they win the cricket T20 tomorrow. Well, up the cricket for T20 tomorrow. Thank you, Andy, pal. 8 o'clock. 8 o'clock, is be, it? I'll be up. Yeah, I'll be up. 8 o'clock in the morning. Happy days. Thank you. Right, cheers, cheers, pal. Thank you, man.